Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. When you hear me talking about this stuff, what we don't realize is Satan walks about. This is God's word I'm quoting right now. Satan walks about like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. The key word is may devour. Why? Because we give Satan permission to devour. He not only devours you, he devours your life, he devours your potential, he devours your future, he devours your abilities, he devours your chance at education, he devours the possibility of family, he devours your relationships, the list goes on ad infinitum. And the sad part is he may because Simple Simon said you may through your actions. Through your actions. There are people who God is steadily knocking at your door. Some of you, God is knocking at your door repeatedly, repeatedly, because he has a destiny for you. But he will not force you because he gave all of us freedom of choice. But his love pursues you. And when his love pursues you, your ignorance, your stubbornness, Whatever the case is, your resentment against life tells him, kiss off, buddy. I ain't got time for you. I've got to be me. I've got to be me. And you go through life doing it all your way. And then when you have to pay the cost for being the boss, then you look up shake your bony fist at God. Well, mine ain't bony, but anyway. You shake your fist at God and you dare to blame Him for the catastrophes that you have laid out in your life by the choices you made. Now, I thank God. Listen, I made some pretty raunchy choices in my life. I thank God for being merciful to me. But the one thing that I always prayed when I started doing any kind of praying was, Lord, give me time. I'm not quite convinced, but I'm not rejecting you. If you exist, help me believe and protect me. Be merciful to me while I'm trying to get my head right. But some of you have the nerve. I don't know how you can take that chance. I was not willing to take a chance now. I might not have wanted to hear anybody tell me about going to church. Okay. I might not have wanted somebody to witness to me. But I wasn't rejecting God. I was rejecting them. Because I didn't like the method. I didn't want to hear it. God knew that. God knows when you have issues. See, he even understands. You know, when I talked about different lifestyles, even some of you who have gone down that path that the Bible distinctly talks against in the New Testament, in the book of Romans, even some of you who have gone down that road have gone because somebody broke your heart. And God knows that. He understands that. Some of you have gone down that road because somebody, while you were a child, molested you and took your innocence away against your will. And sometimes they were of the same gender. 
So when you get tenelating feelings, you start to buy into the lie, that must be the way you are. No. That's a demonic stronghold that has taken advantage of a horrible event that took place in your life. It's a demonic infiltration that burrows its way into your soul by way of someone else raping your very being, raping away your innocence. So God knows it'll take you a minute to realize this is not who you really are. This is who Satan says you are. And Satan is very convincing. But God says, through Jesus Christ, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Free from everything that's got you tied up, locked down, and bound to the ground. I'm going to leave you with that. That's your word of hope. The way you started, the way they started you, the way you were initiated into society does not mean it describes who you are. That does not identify you. You get your identity from God. You don't get it from any other place. You hear me? you might be totally surprised at what God has in line for you. Because he loves you. And he knows that someone else has damaged you. And he has to remove the confusion and the blindness so you can finally see the beauty of who you really are.